day three at Mobile World Congress and I'm very pleased to be joined by Yogesh Malik, CTO at Vimplecom. Yogesh, great to see you. Now, a big announcement that came from you this year was your project around virtualization. Can you tell me a bit about what you're planning? Well, I think um, if I just give you a bigger perspective and I'll straight answer that question. We see that the model needs to change dramatically. This country by country model needs the next lift. And virtualization by far is one of the big steps in the whole journey. So for us, the big steps are on customer engagement, on complete lean operating model, virtualization, and on the data science, the whole, the data, behavioral analytics and everything. So virtualization is a very, very key pillar and what we see is that it's not one vendor which will take it all, one partner which will take it all. We need to be able to decouple layers and orchestrate between them and troubleshoot. So that, that's what we believe. We started our first step with the EPC, Enhanced Packet Core, uh, with our partner ZTE, and it's been great. It's been great. We have done multi-country now, and we want to enhance even further. So obviously in the short term, you're focusing on the regions outside of your home market. Can you explain a little bit about why you've done that? Is it you're using your other markets as a test bed? Wimplecom has one very clear way of working. We call that instant innovation. So of course we go with the markets where we can test, try, prove, and scale. And that's what we are doing beyond geographies, beyond borders. We did the same with MFS, Mobile Financial Service. We did the same way with the STS, the sales tracking tool. And now we are doing with virtualization. We'll do the same with digital stack. We'll do the same with data science. So we do go into execution as a proof of concept, clear integration, and then we scale very, very fast. So when can we expect to see virtualization launched within Russia itself? During this year, we are planning all the countries to move up to that bed. Now, which application will move? EPC is more advanced. Now, network functions will come after that. The value-added services will come after. Because the future we see is the normal networks will not survive in their shape. And we want to move, and we want to actually spearhead that. Now, operators sometimes talk about the challenges that they face when trying to launch these sorts of virtualization projects. They talk about skill shortages, complexity of the projects involved. From your perspective, what do you think the biggest obstacle is that needs to be overcome in order to realize the benefits of virtualization? Now, if I would say technology, I'd be lying a little bit. So it's not technology. I think technology has moved much farther. I would say it's the skills and the culture, because a lot needs to change. People cannot hold to their servers anymore. And the second one is, it's not only a game of the back end. It allows services to approach the customers in a much quicker manner, and enabling software definition. And hence, it becomes the game for reaching the customer faster, quicker. And that's what we see. So it is the education on the market side as well that this end consumers can benefit as well. 